Hello everyone, welcome back to MCM Outdoors and welcome back to the Lake District National Park. More specifically, <laughs> in a way, to Mr. Reed, Great Langdale, the Valley of Great Langdale. It's a fantastic location. I've said fantastic already when he's been speaking for about 10 seconds, but it is a superb location. The weather forecast is good. All those high winds from the last couple of weeks um, have settled down somewhat. And you can see some lofty crags up behind me. We're doing a circular route today with Tony and Phil up around the Langdale Pikes um, in a big circular loop. I'll tell you about the sites and summits along the way. We've got a stove to make some nice hot drinks on the way around and I'm using a new water filter which have been sent by my friends over at Valley and Peak. It's from Platypus. I'll show you that shortly on the route. Um, I've never used a water filter before, ever, in my entire life. So it's a first for me, I'm looking forward to that. I've got it prepped. Um, there's a bit of snow on the tops, so I've got some spikes. I've got the walking poles, I don't think it's quite ice axe conditions, but um, it's going to be a nice walk nonetheless. Hopefully we're going to get some spectacular footage. So I will speak to you in a bit. So here comes the first bit of scrambling, nothing testing, you can avoid it, there's still some scree like path, but if you like that kind of thing it's a bit more interesting maybe, just to use your hands. You should obviously have three points of contact. Just for the health and safety police out there, I know that. I'm just trying to film it. similar to me and he got the storm alert which obviously measures when there's been a certain drop in the atmospheric pressure so that happened about half an hour ago and already the wind is picking up so it's good when you've got these devices that can just give you prior warning of some tasty conditions as they're heading in but so apologies for the wind noise I'll just try and spin you round so that you can see behind me I'm not sure how well you can make it out on this camera looking across the bleed tarn. The wind's really picking up, so we're going to crack on. I'll speak to you in a bit. Oh, there's some pink footed geese somewhere. In the clouds we can't see them but we can hear them maybe this mic's picking them up but we're approaching the col between the two rocky outcrops which make up the obviously iconic langdale pikes in the lake district national park the path i'll just spin you around it's pretty easy going suitable for families i would say that's the kind of affair up here and we're looking back down obviously to bleaton and back to the South Lakes and Windermere. So we've got a bit more of the same. We've got a few patches of snow lying around now, which is always nice. Breaks the walk up, makes it more interesting. Gives it that bit of a winter feel. But yeah, it's just a case of up these arduous steps to the col. And then we've got a little bit of a breather and then some more scrambling sections to take place. So I'll speak to you in a bit. So it's really quite interesting, the wind just been blasting 
the mountain weather forecast is around on the very tops 50 to 60 mile an hour gusts and the wind chill around minus 12 so in these gullies the wind really gets funneled up and it's really quite good to experience it We're not in any danger there's no drops but it's just nice being out in these testing conditions testing out your gear I'm you know experiencing the power of nature it's absolutely stunning out here today what an adventure so far So here's the next objective, looking mighty, towering above Mickledon below, Piker Stickle. So here you go, we've rounded the last mound and now the only obstacle in our way is this big hunk of rock, Piker Stickle. And when you walk down Mickledon, this looms, looks towering, almost impossible. Um, to walk up there's lots of rock climbs up from from that side we've got a nice path there might be a little bit of a scramble as we near the summit cairn but we're now gonna ascend and I will bring you back at the summit well we're just getting our bearings before we start a bit of a scramble to the summit a pike of stickle quite a severe and deep gully down there I don't know if you can get the angle from this camera but it's nice, dramatic with the low cloud. What we're going to do now is just behind me is a bit of a scramble to the summit of this one. A bit of a lofty vantage point. It's going to be nice and breezy up the top. And then we're going to come back down and make our way clockwise around, eventually arriving back to Stickle Tarn. But for now, it's time to get the hands and feet working. A bit of a scramble. Bit of an awkward step up it, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I had to use one of my knees as well. Anything will do. I haven't got the flexibility nowadays. Yeah. Here's another stark gully. You don't want to be overcooking it down there. That was a nice bit of a scramble. Nice and interested in the wet put this case away because I should be using my hands a little bit of ice here at least have one hand oh yeah nice and interesting let's get where I can stand oh the summit of Piker Stickle, Tony, yep. Yep, Piker Stickle. Piker Stickle. <sighs> Pretty icy up here. Here we are on the top. So we've got this platypus water filter. I'll put links below this video. 
got it from my friends over at Valley and Peak and it's lightweight and it's a way of obviously filtering your water saving kind of that aspect of weight carrying your water up on a wild camp or on a hike you get this filter body you've got a dirty end and a clean end don't get that mixed up you fill up this bag with water it's simply a case of screwing it on it's got a really high flow rate really good spec so all we're going to do first we leave the filter up here just collect our water from the source in this case dungeon gill itself just unscrew that you've got a nice little grab handle just to let you get it in even shallow streams and rivers that'll do me so you can filter it whenever you want but if you're for example going to walk to camp you've now got water treat that as your dirty water source just a case of keeping your cap on so you keep the end of it clean remove the dirty or the filter inside place that down unscrew this screw the filter body and it's just a case of I mean you can drink directly out of that if you want just to demonstrate that probably get it all over me fresh tasting really nice but it's a simple way of filtering your water saving it a bit of weight out on the hill and all I'm going to do is decant that now in my own time back into one of my containers we've got some really fresh nice safely filtered water so we have wound our way from Piker Stickle all the way across and then up we're making our way one last scramble to the summit of Harrison Stickle which is going to be our third Wainwright on this little trip so far the cloud base is lifted now which has obviously opened up the views and as I've hit record the winds whipped up So this is Wainwright and summit number three, Harrison Stickle. I'm just trying to shield the mic. You won't be able to see very much because the cloud is whipping up behind me. It was pretty spectacular. And um, you know, these are the times that you're glad you haven't got long hair. Certainly nothing to mess up. Please. Spectacular conditions. I'll turn you around you just see the cloud whipping up like a giant skateboard ramp as it hits the cliff face and then it's pushed over the top doesn't get better than this real tasty late winter conditions and there's stickle tarn and if it was a bit clearer you could see the imposing face the slab wall of Pavey Arc and of course the infamous Jack's Rake which I used to scramble in days gone by let's get to the true summit and then I'll bring you back when we get down and out of the wind and hopefully have something to eat so that's Wainwright number four behind us Thunacar not and just taking this opportunity to get some food on board just made a few sandwiches so we're going to have them and then we're going to crack on and the next destination is going to be High Rays and then Sergeant Man on the way back down to Stickle Tarn. So, yeah, food time. I'm absolutely famished. It's been a cracking day. And we're looking forward to a pint in the Walker's Bar of the old Dungeon Gill Hotel. I'm just going to conserve the battery now so unless anything interesting happens I'll bring you back on the summit of High Rays the summit cairn of High Rays the most uneventful sort of almost like a moorland slog uphill just never ending energy sapping no views not much to tell you about High Rays but anyway we're going to go that direction and hit Sergeant Man and then get out of this wind. Speak to you in a bit. It's 
it's just that last hunk of rock in the cloud just there sergeant man once we've done that we're gonna drop height quickly and the view should open up again in theory and the winds will probably drop down somewhat and we can start turning our thoughts to the walkers bar in the old dungeon gill hotel hopefully they've got the fire on they always have a nice pint in there Jennings on tap and we're just on the sixth way right of the day sergeant man on in the distance I'm going to put my gloves back on and get warm get back down so we're looking down to Stickle Tarn and the darker coloured imposing cliff face that's Pavey Arc Jack's Rake is a grade one scramble that winds its way up that you can just about make out the line um, did that with Walshy many years back I put a link above now um, no no more those things aren't for me anymore um, now I've got kids I uh, I've done it a few times don't need to do it anymore so we're just following the easy path now back down to the level of the tarn and then we'll follow stick or gill all the way back to the pub there's not much longer of our route you can see it winds its way back down to the to the fair trees the new, new Dungeon Gill Hotel. I'll just spin you around. There's not long left of the walk as you can see but it's been fantastic. I'll speak to you again obviously before we go. We're looking forward to the reward at the end of this one which is going to be a nice pint and hopefully a lovely meal in the pub before we head back home. I've really enjoyed myself. It's been a while since I've had a full day out in the mountains and yeah while some things didn't work out as planned didn't get to use the stove just because the wind was pretty brutal so just up to the sandwiches and the water but I've tried out the filter really impressed with that got some nice sandwiches had some good laughs and some stunning scenery still a bit of snow on the tops and it was really enjoyable so I'm gonna press on with the last 15 or 20 minutes and then get down to the van so that's the end of a fantastic day in the Lake District National Park We've ticked off six summits six there. Eight. Talk us through them again, which ones were they? Because my mind's going blank. Loft Crag. Of, yeah, Loft Crag. Back of Stickle. Back of Stickle. Harrison Stickle. Thunder Kai Knot. High Rays. High Rays. Sergeant, Sergeant Man. Man. There we go. So six Wayne Wrights ticked off, thoroughly enjoyable day with my friends Tony and Phil who of course you've probably seen on some of the other videos on the channel. If you haven't I will leave links to their channels and probably their version of this video below this one. Go and check them out if you enjoy the outdoors you will enjoy their channels too and if you've liked it give it a quick thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber consider doing that too. If you use Instagram, MCM Outdoors is on Instagram. Go and check out the feed on there. And if you're on Facebook, come and join the group. We'll talk all things great outdoors, gear, gear reviews, tips, advice, and share all your pictures doing things like this. So until the next time, see you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers, okay. lads. Take care. See you, lads. See you on the next one. It.